What's going on, everybody? It is Jeff and Justin here, your favorite frustrated rock stars Ow. and professional music fans. Don't call us journalists. Just journalists. <laughs> Just like you, we just love talking about music. That's why we call it Talk and Roll. And we are live on MP4 from the Atlanta Brewing Company in Atlanta, Georgia. And we thank them so much for having us here. So good. Tonight, uh, we're going to talk about royalties. There's a movement oh, in, uh, I guess, in the business and Congress to, uh, to kind of change the royalty structure. So we'll get into that with the uh, headline. We'll walk you through it. Yes, that's what we do. And get into some of your comments in the encore. But first, as always, let's see who's doing the opening act. Are you ready? All right, Clear Channel, the big conglomerate, which is yeah. bankrupt. I've heard of them. <laughs> yeah. What do they own? This whole owning everything <laughs> is for the birds. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, see, see how that worked out for them? Yeah. That's why they're doing this. They're going to uh, give musicians, like professional musicians, web channels. Right. Uh, and it's a partnership between Clear Channel and uh, Frontline Management, which is Urban, Urban Azoff. Azoff. They're going to have uh, like artists like the Eagles, Christina Aguilera, Weezer, kind of programming their own channels where they pick the music and they talk about music or, or right. whatever. What do you think, sign it or drop it? Good idea? Well, absolutely sign it, but I don't see where it's revolutionary. Tom Petty and a lot of other artists have already been doing this on satellite, on satellite radio. Yes, yes. and I, I think so, that's why uh, it's, it's... And it works. Yeah. I, I love the idea because if you're a fan of a band, I'm, all right, let's just take Tom Petty, for instance. Yeah. I'm a huge Tom Barry Petty Barry Treasure. Yeah, and he sits there and plays his favorite. He tells me like this, this is the song I love. He tells you why he loves it and everything. I mean, it's, it's, it gets, you know, I'm like a little girl. You know, what's funny is, is one time I, I was slipping around my series and I, and I heard a DJ and I was like, wow, who's this like college radio? Who's this guy on the air? Like, he sounds like he's in college radio. But, but, I didn't realize it was Tom Petty. I was like, oh, it's Tom well, Petty. Well, let's face it. The days of professionalism and, hey, everybody, how you doing? Oh, that's, that's done. It's all yeah, done. That's done. So you don't need the radio voice anymore. And this is a guy who's in the business, and God forbid you're a fan. You can hear what he listens right. to and tell. And then they play their own songs, and there's, like, storyteller moments. Yes. I totally buy it. Oh, totally, totally sign it, too. This is a great thing. Hopefully this will be something that really takes off, because as a music fan, that's what we want to do. Right. That's what we, we want to talk we about. We had to do this because there was no around. This yeah. is like our Boston Tea Party. <laughs> Please talk about music. Yes, talk about the music. Oh, my God, we'll do it. Talk about the music that you're playing, and that's right. what we want to do. So great, sign it up. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to tonight's headline. All right, time for our headliners. Hope you all are back from the bathroom and have at least two beers in front of you. And, and bought a t-shirt. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot to if buy If you didn't get one of the concerts. I only buy them after the show, though. Well, if you don't, if you forgot, you get it online at Jeez, Teaseria. Was, whoo, you get it at Teaseria.com, and uh, you pick the size, the color, the style, tons of great cool graphics. That's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. Hey. And uh, if you enter the coupon code ROCK, you get 15% off. Teaseria.com. Get a shirt. Thank you so much for uh, They're the best. getting one and making us look good. Why else would you get a shirt anywhere else? Something that we've been waiting for a long time as huge music fans is seeing the artists actually get some do re mi off their hard sweat and toil. And they've been getting robbed by radio stations forever. Now, there's a new act that's been passed by legislation. Well, been passed or still being Well, it's, it's, still being it's out of the House and onto the Senate oh, floor. Oh, really? It's that far? So if this thing goes through, then radio stations, and I mean terrestrial radio Commercial, stations. Commercial, the clear channels of the world. <laughs> Told you I'd get you back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they gonna, have money for this, but. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, they took it from my paycheck for years. They are going to have to pay the artists for playing their songs, not just the composers, which they have been doing. And this goes back to the early, the, the, the early days. Right. Of and the big, there's two kinds of royalties: the publishing, the songwriting, sure. and then the actual performing. So if you're just some some guy that played bass on a song but you didn't write it, you didn't get anything from radio state radio play. Their, their attitude was, "Hey, we're a marketing arm. We're right. promoting your music to you sell be, the records. Right. So you should be glad." They right. were playing your music. So that's kind of changing now with all this new digital media because all the digital media companies, uh, webs, uh, online, web stuff, uh, the satellite yeah. radio, they pay both. They pay publishing and performance. But regular radio doesn't. And now regular radio, you know, no one really listens to it. So they're like, well, hey, why are we giving them a free ride? Well, the only they're people that they're listen, not helping us anymore. The only people that listen to it anymore are people that listen to like old oldies. Oh, I hate using oh, that term. I know, but it's all right. But you know, like old, you know, the Fleetwood Mac, the '70s, the '60s well, the, stuff. The sad thing is, now oldies kind of goes up to the '80s. But here's the problem we with that: oldies. is that, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. But the problem with that is that people 
are going to run out and buy another greatest hit. So uh, I bought it on cassette. I bought it on vinyl. Right. I'm done. I'll just right. listen to FM radio for the older radio. And, and th that's your content. You'll use that as your content, right. and you'll you'll consume that. But they're not paying for it. Right. So it, 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 it kind of hurts one side of it, but for new music, for new artists, and definitely the wave of, wave of the future is, hey, yeah. screw radio. I'll have a website. Yeah. I'll have. A, we just did a story about it just now. You know, it's it's all free now. Yeah. You know. So I say, yeah. I hope it passes, and, and they Need should pay to. everything, and that'll be the last. The, that'll be the last uh, yeah, stake for the uh, radio, the traditional radio. And you know what so. will happen after that? What should have happened a long time ago? When radio was great, when mom and pop radio was awesome, people will still turn into radio if they think they can find a mix of radio that they don't have to program, they don't have to download. I love this station. I'm going to stick with it. Right. And not have this homogenization that Clear Channel created. Where no right. matter what town you were in, every DJ sounded the same. Well, they were the same in some cases. Yeah, and, and everything was programmed the same. How many times can you hear the same cat scratch fever every damn day? Yeah. So I love this. This is something oh, that, you know what? They made their own bed, and I'm going to love watching them lie in it. Yep. It's over. And they're also, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't discredit them altogether. It's also part of technology with, you know, right. the way you can but get you, music now. You you've don't gotta learn, radio. you got to learn to adapt your business model, yeah, they didn't have, all they and, did. they had, and they had pissed on They had pissed on the fans. They had pissed on the artists. Yep. Them and the labels were in cahoots, and now they're all, who's hurting right now? The, the labels, labels and the stations. Yep. And the artists and the fans are saying, Nah. That's true. And that's wonderful. So uh, it's a great day to be a music fan or a music artist. Yes. That's what we're all about. All right, well, let's do some more music with some solo riffs. Uh, I think this summer, Kiss are going to tour again, Aerosmith, all the big names, doing the big stadium shows. And for some reason, I've seen these two bands a lot. I wish a band like this, or Aerosmith or Kiss, would do a small club tour and only play deep cuts. Speaking of hearing the song, same songs over and over, I don't even want to see them live. How about a small club tour and play only the deep cuts that the real fans would get? Today's solo riff is going to be on double neck guitar because that's such a good solo riff, I can't even top it. Wouldn't that be something if we could actually hear the songs that we love, that only us true fans have heard in a small intimate setting of just true fans played for by our favorite bands I'd actually pay extra for that I'm sick of it it's like it's like Jeff said I can't expound any better on that I'm honored I, I, I you blew me away with that I'm honored but hey well that hey I'm blown away by the comments let's do an encore hey we got an email from James here I think James James dun, dun, from dun, dun. Burbank James from Burbank, yeah, commenting on debuts that could not de be topped. We were talking about buds. albums that, you know, like that's the definitive album for that artist and you sure. don't know anything else. He says, sure. uh, I'd add Skid Row oh, and probably Lenny Skid. Kravitz. Uh, now, Lenny Kravitz, we, got, we could discuss. Well, I understand what, Skid he's, Rose not, what, I understand right. what he's saying is, uh, well, there's Skid Row, yeah, I think Skid Row is it. Like, you well, Skid Row is huge. That first album was unbelievable. But you don't know anything else after that. That's oh, yeah. a day Slave that could not be well, topped. Slave to the Grind was a good album. Yeah. Monkey Business, Quicksand Jesus. Yeah. No, I mean, it was, they had a good second we, album. We were kind of talking about bands that where you don't know anything right, after the out, debut that album. was it. And Lenny Kravitz certainly would be tough to say that. I mean, no, no, because he, he had that damn... Uh, Are you going to go my way? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that. And then the, the one that they, they just burned in the 90s. Uh, the, uh, I want to Oh, no, away. don't do it. Don't do it. I know how much he hates the song. I want to fly so, away. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely Lenny Kravitz uh, would not fall into that category. No way. Lenny Kravitz is not... No, I mean, no. you may think... That would be your favorite. Right, and that's a great... Again, there's, sure, no, there's no wrong, wrong answers. answers. But, but uh, just listen favorite. to the radio. Again, we go back to radio. I want <laughs> but thank you so much, James, from Burbank sure. for commenting, and you can do so too at uh, YouTube or email us info at thefrustratedrockstars.com. We're the youth gone wild. Oh yeah. Sure. Until next time, from the Atlanta Brewing Company, thank you so much for joining for joining us, and until next time, for him. enjoy your music.